If you're looking for some extra practice with your snow shovel, the city of Nagani may have the perfect opportunity. Reporter Ronnie Doss sh shares how you can pitch in to help the community. Uh, Ronnie? Thanks, Donnie. The city of Nagani is asking residents and business owners to help clear snow and ice buildup around fire hydrants in the area. Heavy snowfall can partially bury or block fire hydrants. Buried hydrants cause dangerous delays for firefighters to respond to emergencies. The city of Nagani is asking citizens to help keep fire hydrants clear of debris and snow. As we all know around here, we have quite the, uh, quite the dramatic winter uh, when we get hit by storms that snow can pile up. And uh, as that snow piles up and the hydrants get plowed in, it can be even more cumbersome to remove that snow around the hydrant. So if our residents can help clean up with hydrants around their block, that would really help out uh, in times of need. Creating a three-foot circle around hydrants can help firefighters quickly locate and use hydrants. Being a volunteer fire department, we don't have full-time staffing. Our water department certainly can't keep up with the near 250 hydrants we have in town. So uh, when, the, when the residents chip in, that helps. While you already have your shovel out, another way to help is clearing snow away from doors so that medical responders can treat patients and also transport a patient who needs it to the hospital. You can also help older neighbors in need by shoveling walkways and doorways. For residents who are 60 and older, please contact the Senior Center at 906 475 6266 for snow shoveling assistance. Of course, fire safety and fire prevention is the number one way to avoid the fire department being called to your house. You know, change your batteries and your smoke alarms, uh, teach your kids proper fire safety, and hopefully we don't have to see it all this winter. <laughs> Brian added that the city of Nagani, like many communities throughout Michigan, is short on firefighters. So if you have any interest in becoming a firefighter, they are taking applications. And you will get state certification as a firefighter through the Volunteer Firefighter Program. For now, let's send it back to the hot seat with Anchor Donnie. Thank you, Ronnie.